Welcome to this week's Connect 3, where you, me, and Jesus connect through his word. In John 10, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. That would be cause me to believe what he says I listen to. Then again, in Revelation, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. You see, we should learn to recognize the voice of Jesus listening to what he speaks. He speaks through his Spirit, his Word, his Son, his creation, his people, and our circumstances. Notice, I use the word listen and not hear. They're quite different. You can hear, but not be listening. Hearing brings you to a moment of crisis, an intersection that requires a decision. Jesus' emphasis is not on the ability to hear, but on our willingness to surrender to his evaluation. When we hear the voice of Jesus, Holy Spirit raises something to our spiritual awareness. His words are both comforting and confrontational. Knowing he cares enough to engage us in life is certainly comforting, but he will reveal things that need to be transformed. We have an illustration of this reading about the young rich ruler recorded in the book of Luke. The Bible tells us in chapter 18, Now a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Verse 19 says, So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, and that is God. Then he goes on and he said, You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother. And the young rich ruler said, All these things I have kept from my youth. Jesus told him what he must do. And he was comforted because he had already done all of those things. But then Jesus went deeper. Verse 22 said, So when Jesus heard these things, he said to them, or to him, You still lack one thing. Sell all that you have and distribute to the poor, and you will have, watch this, treasure in heaven, come and follow me. There's that word again, follow me, follow me. But one thing you lack, that's confrontational. But when he heard this, he became very sorrowful, for he was very rich. We will decide if we listen to his evaluation and act on what we have heard. What comforts at times will also confront us. Listening is reflected by our actions relative to what we have heard. God Speak to us today and at times when it is confrontational, may your servants listen. And I promise you, when he speaks, it will bring comfort. But when he speaks, it will also bring confrontation. What will you do 
when he confronts the deeper things of life, not just scratching the surface. Thanks for joining me today. Join me next week when we step into what the disciples thought about this word given to the young rich ruler. Have a blessed day.